Some of the younger people on YouTube, the mechanically inclined ones, have been asking me questions how a diesel engine can also run on gasoline. Well, as far as I know, in North America, the only company that sold bulldozers or equipment like that that had a dual engine was International or International Harvester. And then in 1968, the company was bought by Dresser. So I'll give you a quick explanation. It's actually very simple. This dozer is a 1953. It's 20, weighs 20 tons. It's got a 12-foot blade. Everything's actuated by hydraulics. And it was the biggest dozer back then. Well, like all diesels, you have to have some sort of injection system. This has an injector pump, and the little tubes at the top are the fuel outputs that go to each injector along there on the manifold. Unlike most diesels, the fuel injectors, these things, are in between the area where the exhaust comes out. Usually they're far away from the exhaust manifold, or they're inside the head underneath the rocker cover. Some diesels don't have that big fuel injection pump that you know, runs the whole system. They have individual injectors underneath the rocker cover that run off a camshaft, so every time the lobe goes around and pushes on one, it squirts some fuel. This injector pump has that shaft that comes out that's dri driven off the engine. Those two big boob-like looking cylinders are the containers to hold the cartridge-style oil filters. And these two smaller perky boobs are the containers that hold the cartridge-style diesel fuel filters. Gotta love them. And that big yellow box is just an air filter box, and there's actually oil in there, which is a good thing. It helps keep everything wet so that it sticks to the dust. Now having a system like this is a huge advantage, but it's more expensive to manufacture. The huge advantage is it doesn't need to be plugged in and warmed up overnight with a block heater in the wintertime. And it doesn't need a big battery to crank over all that high compression. When you pull this black knob, it actuates this lever. And it pull it out really hard, it locks and clicks. Well, that goes right into the block of the engine. And in the block of the engine is an extra valve, like an old flathead engine has. And below that valve is just an empty pocket. The pocket's just a extra volume container. Extra volume meaning that when you pull that lever the effective space above the piston in the cylinder head becomes larger thus reducing the compression ratio. A normal diesel needs at least 500 psi compression to run but a gas engine only needs 120 to run. If you run a gas engine on high, high compression well then it ignites the gas before the piston gets to the top and lights it with a spark. Then it pushes the piston back down the wrong way and things just don't work. So now we're on the opposite side of the engine. This engine happens to be 700 cubic inch, six cylinder straight block. So on this side, we have an intake manifold. This manifold above is just a cooling manifold. You know, antifreeze is in there. Well, this intake manifold has a little T-port at the bottom, which most intake manifolds wouldn't have, and has an old, small, one-barrel carburetor. There's the throttle for it. It has a choke, and it has a fuel feed. And there's the feed bulb, or the filter bulb. So, in here, put regular gasoline. And in there, the 75 gallon tank, you put diesel. Behind that carburetor, it's just an old fashioned six cylinder points and condenser distributor and ignition coil. There's the choke. So, the way you start it, is you shut off all the diesel fuel by putting that lever at the bottom. That's the throttle. When you pull that black knob, it also actuates a switch when it decompresses the engine. And the switch puts 12 volts of that coil, and then it starts making spark. So, up underneath that intake manifold, it's just some ordinary car spark plugs. Diesels run at wide open throttle all the time, there's no throttle plate. So this engine runs at wide open throttle too, but the neck of the carburetor is so small that it doesn't allow it to run that fast. So, while you're pushing that starter button to crank it, 
pulling that knob to decompress it, pulling that knob to choke it, she fires up on gas. It runs just fine on gas. It doesn't have any power. You can drive it, but you can't push dirt. Then when the engine warms up, you know, two to five minutes in the winter time or just about 30 seconds in the summertime, then you release the high compression knob, lift up this knob, add some diesel to the mixture, I mean to the injectors, and she's running on diesel. And of course the spark is shut off as soon as that knob is released. Simple as that. The other method bulldozers and stuff like this would often use is what's called a pup start. So at the back of the engine there would be you know a one or two cylinder gas engine. Could be anywhere from 5 to 25 horsepower. You would start that up first then engage the starter drive to the flywheel and it would get your diesel cranking around fast enough no matter what the weather was that it would eventually start. There's another system too they use on some big engines including 18 wheelers and stuff and that's called the compressed air start. They just uh, start ramming compressed air in while the engine's cranking. That helps push the pistons around, make more compression, and that starts engines too. In the wintertime, my dozer, just like now, sits outside in the field, suffering from all weather conditions, motor buried in snow, no care whatsoever, and it always starts. And I use it for plowing snow at the farm, so this place just couldn't be the place it was and is today unless we had a dozer to clear those laneways make snowmobile jumps and be able to get in here and park our cars off the road and enjoy winter fun too. And if you try to start this thing and your battery happens to be dead in your dozer, well, you just pull the battery out of your car and throw an ordinary sized car battery in here and it fires it right up. That's all I use is a car battery. Every other machine like this has a huge battery. Gotta love your American muscle.